All right, welcome back. For our uh, feature of the month, we're going to talk about past due reminders and finance charge memos, which is a standard feature of Business Central. These have both been around for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when we focus on a feature, we, we are focusing on a feature that we is really popular, right? Or has, has a lot of wow factor or bang for its yeah, buck. Potential. I think in this case, I think there is a lot of opportunity, especially on the reminder side. And I know that not a lot of our customers who are running Business Central are using reminders. So I'm kind of excited that we're going through this because mm -hmm. I think it's a good it's a good opportunity to remind people, no pun intended, <laughs> that reminders <laughs> can be useful. So I'm gonna I'll pass it over to you to kind of lead us through uh, All right. the feature and then uh, okay. let's go from there. Like you said, a, uh, an underused area of Business Central is definitely the reminders feature. Uh, reminders are usually created in batches, for example, at the end of the month to remind customers about invoices that are due or overdue. So an example of this would be to send the customer statement report as a reminder to customers regarding overdue amounts. And then, uh, so when a reminder is issued, there's a process going through, you can issue the reminder. So when a reminder is issued, Business Central then transfers the data to a separate window and the entries are posted. If interest or an additional fee has been calculated, Entries are posted to the customer ledger and the general ledger. The entries are also posted according to your specifications in the reminder terms window, which determines whether interest and additional fees are posted to the customer's account in the general ledger. So, thinking about reminders, do you have any idea why it's not a widely used feature? Is it just people don't want to spend the time to set it up? Just to be clear, is that a stump Ken question? No, 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 no. It's an opinionated question. <laughs> Trying to get my payback early. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. Okay. No, just a purely opinionated question. Yeah. Um, the the re the reason I I believe people don't use it is because of it, the naming convention. Frankly. Really. The, so there is a separate feature or 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 document called a customer statement that can be printed for mm -hmm. customers. So you could say, I wanna print customer statements, right? And, and, and send out any customer that owes us over this amount, let's mail out or email out these customer statements. Yeah. So that, that it's, it's a language thing. Uh, whereas I believe personally, the reminders is a way more effective way to accomplish the same thing. Okay. I think they just, it's like the term reminders they don't view those as, as statements. Okay. Maybe because they don't understand that within the reminder that gets created, there is a, a listing of the invoices mm -hmm. that are passed due, right? Right. So, in the follow-up with that, then the first time a reminder is created for a customer, it's assigned a level one setting. When the reminder is issued, the level number is registered on the reminder entries that are created and linked to the individual customer ledger entries. If it is necessary to remind the customer again, all reminder entries linked to open customer ledger entries are checked to locate the highest level number. The conditions from the next level number will be used for the new reminder. Now, uh, one of the new features that also goes with reminders and, and finance charge memos, which we'll talk about in a second, is the ability to cancel a reminder. Canceling a reminder, which we checked was not in previous NAV versions, and in Business Central, it's a simple three-step process. Uh, from the Roll Center ribbon, you choose Sales, then the Issued Reminders. It'll pull up all your reminders. Choose one from that list. And then right under Actions on the ribbon, just choose uh, Cancel, and, and, and that's it. So it's pretty pretty new, uh, pretty cool new little feature by Business Central that wasn't available in NAV. And this also applies to Finance Charge Memos. Finance charge memos, just like reminders, are usually created in batches at the end of the month. Uh, so for example, if you want to debit customers for interest or fees without reminding them of overdue amounts, this is where you'd use finance charge memos. 
When a customer does not pay by the due date, you can have finance charges calculated automatically and add them to the overdue amounts on the customer's account. You use finance charge memos to calculate interest and finance charges and to inform your customers about interest charges without, without reminding them of the overdue payments. Mm, alternatively, you can calculate interest and overdue payments when you create reminders. Yeah, so I think so, we, you know, in our, in our, we, we, we work with a lot of different clients in many different industries. Yeah. And what we've noticed is that there are very few industries where they will accept and pay finance charge invoices. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So most cases, most companies do not actually, will not issue finance charge invoices to their customers. Yeah. Um, but it is a, a, a nice feature. It is a standard feature that can be used. So I think there is, you know, it's, it's, it's a useful thing. Most people don't get away with, right? So, oh, a customer owes you money. Yeah. You're going to be lucky to get full payment right. against those invoices, let um, alone a finance or whatever. Yeah. The, they're yeah. them paying the finance charges, right? Right. So it's a way to kind of turn the screws on them a little bit, mm -hmm. I think, to say, "Hey, you owe us all this money in finance charges. Yeah. Okay, settle up and pay us what you owe us. We'll write off these finance charge invoices." Right. Which I why I think you have that cancel feature, which is important because. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, those cancel. those fees and interest do not end up getting collected. Yeah, and there's actually a, a feature I think in the in the finance charge setup, where you tell it that you do not want the system to book finance charge revenue unless the invoice actually gets paid. Really? So you can book that book that entry that it creates when you when you send the finance charge to the customer to like a unearned revenue yeah. or deferred revenue account so that you're not booking actual like income before the customer's paid it because so often those do not yeah. get paid. Yeah. Which makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. so, I kind of had fun with the Stump Michael question earlier. So I was, I was still I got, a little upset about it. Still so, a little upset. So, so maybe we should do. Should I do one a follow one? up? Oh, a follow up. Uh, follow -up. <laughs> oh wow, a twofer. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Let's hear it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I, I was going to ask you about the, the so the levels though. So let's talk about our, our, let's talk about the levels. You you mentioned like level one, and it checks the highest level and then sends the level two. Yeah. My 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 stump Michael question is what's the purpose of the levels? So I mean I would answer it just. It's the, to let the organization know how, I don't know, how, how much of an emergency this is, I guess one way to put it, you know. Exactly, yeah, right. Level one isn't, is bad, but it's not as bad as level two. Level two is kind of, you know, pay attention. Level three is they're really not paying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a correct for that. So All right. You, well, you've, I got one for you now. You've redeemed yourself. So I got one for you. How many levels can you have in Business Central? Unlimited. Oh, final answer? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> of Mine are easy. All right. So, we're, all right. so we, well, let's put the stumps to bed. I think this could get ugly if we continue. <laughs> so the, what, what, the, the, the also the key with those levels, what is, what is very useful is that within the reminder letter to your customer, not only on each reminder does it show the detailed of the invoices that are past due and, and the amounts and invoice numbers and everything, but you also can associate the language or, or what, what prints on the document associated with each level. So for example, level one could be, hey, dear customer, we, you must have overlooked this, but you <laughs> owe us money against these invoices. Right. Level two is, hey, dear customer, you realize you owe us this money, yeah. please pay us soon or we're gonna have to come after you. Right. Level three, Knuckles has been <laughs> dispatched. He's on his way. <laughs> Collections are coming. <laughs> Ex expect a visit, right? Have a check ready. Right, yeah. So you can escalate the language within each of those reminder letters that get sent out. So envision it as a monthly Right, a monthly process where the customer each month, if they're continuing to not pay, that language will automatically escalate 
as the system generates those reminders. So it's not a user that has to do it. Yeah. They don't have to pay attention and go, oh, these guys are now, we've been telling them they owe us money, but they haven't done anything. The system is doing it in an automated fashion. Yeah. And as you mentioned, you can batch generate those reminders. So you could create 200 reminders in a batch and then issue all of those at once. Yeah, that's great. So That's real great. It's taken a lot of... A lot of uh... Yeah, and, and I think the last differentiator between the, the customer statements that you can send out and the reminders which you touched on is that you actually, you, you generate, you have the system generate the reminders and then you, quote, issue them. And issuing them moves them into history. So there's, there's a record in the system that you sent them those reminders and on what days they went out and what invoices were past due mm -hmm. at that point. Whereas with statements, you could not. print statements and send statements all day, but the system is not actually recording right. the, what exactly was on that statement at that date, mm -hmm. whereas the reminders does do that. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, that's all I got for uh, reminders so, and stuff. Great topic. Um, hopefully, you'll you'll trigger some people here to take a further look at reminders and, and see that maybe that's it's a much better option than customer statements. It's a great feature. Use it.